Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic recorder. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. As you saw in my last video, the haul video, I've got a grail in this box and I'm really excited to get in here and see what it is and share with you guys what I was able to pick up. So hopefully you guys are excited. Hopefully you're ready. Here we go. If you guys could spare just a few moments and check the link in the description below for Shortbox, it's the easiest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. By clicking that link and downloading that app, it really does help out this channel. And plus, you get an awesome app to check out some amazing comic books like the ones I'm showing right here. Hopefully you guys download it. Use that link in the description below for Shortboxed app. It is amazing and they've got great deals. And they're giving away right now an amazing Spider-Man 361 and 9.0 CGC. Amazing book, amazing giveaway, awesome app. Check it out today. So I was able to work out a deal with Champion City Collectibles. I'll leave a link in the description below for his store, his online web store. He's also got an Instagram, so definitely check him out. We worked out an amazing deal for this awesome, awesome grail. I'm so thankful that he was willing to work with me. He he was the one who sent me a couple weeks ago to review and also to review his website, get a little sneak peek of his website, give a little feedback on it. But he gave me a secret six, number one from the Silver Age, DC. It's, it was an 8.0 CGC book, really, really nice book and very, very generous just for me reviewing the website and giving some feedback. So I was really appreciative of that. He's got some great books on there, some really, really monster keys. He's got graded books, he's got raw books, and he's also got other collectibles. It's Champion City Collectibles, really, really awesome shop. Um, he's got Instagram and he's got the web store. So I'll link that stuff in the description below, but it was able to work out a deal for this baby and I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and just pop pop this open and we'll, we'll just get straight into it. I, I can barely stand it any longer. And this video doesn't need to be super long for this one book. All right, so I've popped the top. Champion City Collectibles. This is what you get when you order from them. First of all, really nice, sturdy, big box. Amazing packing, like bubble wrap galore. A whole thing of bubble wrap, which I will be keeping because I've been sending out some books lately. And says, there's a note in here saying, thank you so much for purchasing this investment grade collectible. We truly honored that you have trusted us with such a valuable transaction. Yes, it was awesome. Thank you so much, um, Champion City Collectibles. And their, their goal is to just bring the comic book experience to your home. So you can also uh, pre-order comics from them. You can get your pull list from them. So it's really, really an awesome opportunity. So thank you for the personalized note. Don't know if they send that to everybody, but uh, they, do, they do a great job of taking care of their customers. So we got a box within a box. This is what I remember uh, the last time that I bought a book from them. They have this just really nice, I mean, there's just packing, packing galore, which I really love because I will be reusing that packing. Uh, it's just sturdy, amazing stuff in boxes that I send out. So there is a slab in here. I'm so excited to have this. This is the third time I've owned this book. The first time I owned it, um, I bought it raw and submitted it. The second time I made a deal at a con in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and I graded it and then traded that um, for a really nice key that I have currently in my collection. And so this is the third time I've owned this book. I did recently, when these books, when Marvel Silver Age went crazy this summer, I knew I had an opportunity to get a massive, massive grail. Um, and I use that to, to help get me the all-star comics number eight, the first appearance of Wonder Woman in a 4.0. That's a book that, of course, if I have an opportunity to get that book, um, which there's about a hundred on the census, I'm going to go for it. And there's, you know, several thousand of these on the census, but it did leave a, this book sized hole in my heart <laughs> because as a kid, this is one of my favorite books and one of my grails amongst grails. This was one of the books that I aspired to get ever since I was a little kid. And of course it's one of those things where you're like, I will never have enough money to get that book in my life. I'm so grateful that I was able to pick it up a couple times and own it a couple times. And now I hopefully have a keeper copy. It looks better than in the pictures. So I don't know what happened on the pictures. Let me look at the front. 
Yeah, it looks better in the pictures, or it looks better in person than it did in the pictures. Let me take it out of the bag. He's got a really nice sticker. Oh man, I'm I'm pretty pumped about this. So without further hesitation, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And it looks better in person than it did in the pictures. I picked up an X-Men number one, 3.5. I've always wanted, I thought like ever since I was younger, I was like, you know, young adult, I was like a 3.0 would be the creme de la creme for me for an X-Men number one. Now it's a little faded as you can see. It's a little faded on uh, some of the colors. Some of the reds are a little bit faded. But other than that, you know, it was, it was really uh, tanned in the pictures. And I am so happy that it's not really super tanned to me. And the book just looks so nice. It really does look great. It's got a little fading. And uh, it is a little tanned. But it's not like extremely tanned to where it's like, man, that's, you know, it's the, it's the color of the cardboard. 3.5 off-white pages, first appearance of the X-Men. So, so happy to have this book back in the collection. I'm pretty, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Origin and first appearance of the X-Men. You've got Professor X, Cyclops, Iceman, Angel, Beast, and Marvel Girl, and the first appearance of Magneto. This is great. This is really, really cool. Happy to have X-Men number one, 3.5. I had a, a 2.5 when I bought Raw, and it had a beautiful, beautiful date stamp up there. Uh, August um, 1960. I think it was like August 8th, 1963. I believe that was the date stamp up there because this book came out in September of 1963. So when they got it in August, they put that date stamp on there. I had the world-famous Biclops. So you had the Cyclops with two eyes and a nose, and they both graded 2.5s. So I was pretty happy about that. I had um, Rocket Comics press the, the first 2.5, and then I had Midwest Scotsman press the second 2.5, and then this one came already graded from Champion City Comics, Champion City Collectibles. And yeah, I like it a lot. I really do like this a lot. So happy to have this in the collection um, means a lot. The early X-Men, I mean, X-Men were, were my were my team. And this book is not going down in value. It's kind of plateaued off. I remember the 2.5s were selling from like twelve dollars to $13,000. These were selling, you know, 3.0s were selling close to $15,000. This one's probably, I would, I would value a 3.5 at maybe that $14,000 to $15,000. I know there's probably asking a lot more for them just because it's like the hype is real. The hype is real. But if you can get one for probably under, you know, in this grade, 3.0, 3.5 for under $15,000, it's probably fair market value for that book. So this is it. Oh yeah, this looks so much better. So um, Champion City Collectibles, thank you so much for this. It does look really good. I think it looks cool. There's the original, you know, or close to the original color right there. So you can see some of that. Maybe it sat under a um, ultraviolet light, which most of my lights here uh, in, in this portion of my house, especially in my comic room, they're all LED. I've upgraded all to LED, low, low, low chance of any fading with the lights that I've put in. Stanley Story, Jack Kirby, cover and art. Just a beautiful, classic, classic book. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscription button for more content like this. Hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. And I guess with that being said, I will talk to you all in the next one. See ya, bye.